Hello, it is actually motherfucking Sunday. is actually catching up on the Monarch synthesizer. And I know last time we opened this guy up, we, you know, I, I meant to do like, I meant to do like a introduction to it and go through it. And what I wound up doing was more of just like getting lost in uh, some of the different sounds and doing more of a creative thing. And that's cool too. There's nothing wrong with that. But in general, you know, I want to I want to be able to show you what this thing is all about at the same time. So follow up. is just start by kind of explaining all the different sections. And it's great to start out on the user bank and the initial patch because it just has one thing turned on. Just a basic pulse wave. <clears throat> nothing real fancy. Nothing real fancy. And here is the here's the octave uh, that controls the entire synthesizer. the glide control. So whether or not it glides up to the next note. Instead of just doing a hard cut. Then you have your modulation, which is going to be controlled by this third oscillator. So we'll get to that. And just basic pitch pen. So let's listen to some of the different sounds. It's the basic sign. It's a little bit of a triangle in that in that sign. It's a full triangle. Some pulse. Different pulse. Pulse varieties. Here's the volume for this channel. There's a mute for that channel. does it's a classic Moog style ladder filter cutoff. Nice resonance control, self oscillating. Do a video one day where we just uh, turn that into an 808. Pretty legit. And then contour controls the amount of envelope modulation to the filter cutoff frequency. So modulation by the envelope, filter envelope. Either negative or 
positive. Adds one third key tracking to filter cutoff frequency. Ooh. Key T one or two are active. The filter receives 100% of keyboard pitch information. cool stuff. So let's mix a couple of different sounds. So now if we bring in oscillator two. So first off that's what it sounds like an octave higher. Let's bring it down to the same octave. Do a little bit Fatten it up a little bit with a little tiny pitch bend. And you can mix it in to your heart's content. You can make the sign louder, make the triangle softer, make the sign softer, make the triangle louder, you know, whatever you want today. Nice juicy bass tone. And then this oscillator 3 is meant to really be kind of like a low frequency oscillator that you can use for like modulation. source too, but the coolest application of this guy, in fact, I don't even know if you can use this as a sound source, it says volume control, it controls tuning, I mean, I assume you can, I assume we're hearing it to some extent, but right now what I'm really doing is using it to control the modulation, which I can say I can turn on or off with the mod wheel, mod wheel mood. And I can mix between having it controlled by the noise oscillator as well as just oscillator 3. Which is pretty badass as well. And then 
we can start digging into the presets. We can go backwards just because. These are all effects, if you couldn't tell. Different things. <laughs> Mars Wind, that's pretty sweet. All sorts of different sounds. That's all the effects. Getting into percussion. So this is getting into using the filter for... <clears throat> It's really, really uh, low self-oscillating um, capabilities to create kick drums. Using that contour, that's really dope because you can really craft the um, beater sound or the, 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 the tight end, that very first initial beat of the kick. And then you can tune the, the kick to add some feedback here for some really dope Yep. So you can mess around with stuff too and I mean just get some really cool sounding shit. There we go. Yeah. All these all these drum sounds are pretty damn cool.
<clears throat> yes, sir. Most of these already. I don't think we checked out the leads yet. Next time.